All right, clean the submarine. Now, I'm not going to read this today. I My throat is kind of iffy already, so we're just going to start the job. It does allow us to use the Prime Vista Pro. Confirm. I have actually really been wanting to play this. <laughs> we'll go with that one today. with that. That way we can be underwater. I was asked uh, how I got this thing to work so good. I, You don't see it that much, but if you watch, I go down and left and up and right. Uh, and I, I do it in a circle. I don't just go across with it or like that. Now, you can the trick is if you want to do it that way is to get the specific distance where all three of the beams actually meet and it will be like a solid thing so the way I do it though just works better I can be at about any distance it takes anything off If it hits it, it takes it off. That's why I use this one, if y'all are wondering, though. Didn't we have something like this already where we had to go up under it and stuff? It was a ship, uh, a tanker or something. If you're trying to walk in a straight line, go ahead and just uh, simply just uh, turn off the thing where you can do that. <laughs> now, at this distance, I'm going to put on the longer one. And I'm, I don't think we're going to do my little universe today unless it's tonight. So I'm actually going to have to remove that from the, uh, the calendar. I am just not really feeling that game right now. Uh, not today anyway. I might do it tomorrow. Ouch. Uh, might do it tomorrow as my second stream so let's let's uh do that actually put that on there 
and I'm doing YouTube tomorrow uh, at some point. What we want to do is go back to that. We want to jump on top of it. And we actually want to go with that one. Man, that makes me want to be at the beach so bad. Right, that's done. Y'all just have no idea. I haven't been to the beach in two years now, and we were used to going every year, and I'm just, I literally uh, feel like I'm missing home. <laughs> Where we went, the lady that we rented it, from was uh, a family friend and she passed away and we've not uh, not been able to afford to go Believe it or not, we were able to rent from her for $35 a night. It was so nice. And I mean, she charged that for everybody. It didn't matter if you were her friend or family or who, or just nobody she knew at all. If she was going to rent to you, she charged $35 a night. She was an awesome person. And I, I tell y'all, sometimes a beach trip it's just what you need. When we get my car back, I might take a day and drive to the beach. <laughs> My problem with being able to do something like that is that I cannot control uh, my sleep. And I almost wonder if I have a touch of narcolepsy or something, the way that my sleep goes. I hope not, um, but I, I do have a friend that had narcolepsy and they ended up giving her sleeping medicine like sleeping pills so that at night time she could go to sleep and she actually if she doesn't take those and sleep at night time then she's just like I, I was except for she was actually worse to her she would be fine and then she would just suddenly be asleep I at least can feel it coming on and me getting tired that's why I, I don't know that that's what it is. The doctor says I'm aging. <laughs> With my condition though, um, my medical problems, at 35 years old, the doctor told me I, my body treated me more like that of a 90 year old. So, and it, the, I felt like a person 
he estimated that I, I felt like a person that was 90. It's horrible to have something that makes you feel like you're a lot older than you are, I tell you. I, I feel like I got cement in my bones. I really do sometimes just feel like I'm full of cement and can't move. Now we still got a lot of this to do, but I'm I'm getting there at least. And my mom has already said to me, as soon as your car's fixed, we go into this place to eat. I said, okay. <laughs> we have a place that we like to go in, um, in Virginia to eat. And it's really good. Probably not worth driving all that way, but it's kind of like a family outing, you know, just something to do with my family. I take every opportunity I can to do stuff with my family if I possibly can. And they know that and they know I like to be included. So what do they do? They go and plan a trip for October and they know that October is the one month that I can't do anything. because I can't leave y'all hanging. Spooktober is my event since I kind of come up with it. And a, a lot of people still don't know that. <laughs> hey, Miss Tabby, there you are. How you doing today? What's wrong? I don't like to hear not good now. You need to be wonderful.
I like for all my friends to be doing excellent. Trying to get the majority of it off and hoping that it will automatically finish for me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I have so many stomach problems, I completely understand. Have you been to the doctor? We're almost there, but we've we've just got so much little stuff here and there to do. Oh no. I've had all three of the, the stomach scopes, they're not fun, I gotta say. Not fun at all. You know you're supposed to have fun, Miss Tabby. I know it's a lot harder than just saying it, though. I wish I could take everybody's pain away. Pain and sickness completely. Wish I could eradicate it. So our hole that we can't reach is right there. Um... I have uh, what they call IBSM, so I know all about that. It's both types combined, and it makes no sense how it, it works. But one one minute you you can't go, and the next minute you can't stay out. <laughs> All right. If anybody doesn't know how that works, that's what it is. What IBSM is. Literally one minute you got to you got to go and then the next minute you can't and then the next minute you can't get out of there. <laughs> You're going to be in there for a while.
mine comes from my nerve issues, they said. Uh, another nerve issue that I have causes me to, or my nerve issues, I should say, also cause me to uh, not be able to feel like I'm actually getting full. So a lot of the time, I'll feel like I'm starving even if I'm eating. It makes it hard to diet. Alright, we're 99% done. Let's see. Air tanks. Must be the ones on the other side. Man, that thing needed cleaning. Yep. Yes, it does. I completely understand that. I tell you, um, I don't know how to get on this part here, this lower part. go up on this I guess um, do you happen to know which type it is or if it's a if it's the dual type like mine already done that let's get up on top of it there and do that I think this is this one back here. Yep. That one. Oh, we got it. Everything is setting at 99%. <laughs> the propeller casings. Oh my goodness. Okay. The brackets. Do I have a ladder? I 
don't think we have a ladder anywhere. No. No ladders. We got that. Now the arms. The underside hatch railing. All right, we got that. So both of these, I might have to go up top to get them. Right, we got that. Let's go up top and try to get those. Underside hatch porthole. That's going to be very hard to get, I think. All right, we got it. Propeller brackets and robotic arm grabbers. Propeller bracket. This is it, y'all. Here we go. Awesome, awesome, baby. Let's check it out. All right. That was a nice little job. I enjoyed that one. I'm really enjoying the orange colors that they're using. 